In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can make your voice recording sound better in Audacity. And these are the settings that I use for my videos on my YouTube channel, Ryan King Art, where I make Blender 3D tutorials. So I've opened up Audacity, and from my file browser, I'm going to click and drag and drop in either the video or the audio that you want to edit. And it's going to import that audio. So even though I've imported a video, it's added the audio from that video. So now to remove the background noise, I need to get a sample of the background noise. So I want to zoom into the starting here. So I'll hold down the control key and then scroll my mouse wheel to zoom in. And then I can also click right down here and drag the bar over. And at the starting of the video, I left a few seconds where I don't say anything just so I can sample some of the background noise. So what I'm going to do is click and drag on the audio just to select a small amount of it where I'm not talking and it's just the background noise. And if for some reason you can't click and drag to select the audio, make sure you click on this button here to use the selection tool. So I'm just going to select about a second of audio. Now I'm going to click here on effect and I'm going to go to noise removal and repair and I'm going to click on noise reduction and this is going to give us the noise settings. So the main setting that you want to play around with is this noise reduction right here. So if you turn this up to a higher number then it's going to remove more of the noise but if you turn it up too high then the audio might sound a bit weird. Or if you turn it down, if you turn it down too low then you still might be able to hear some of the audio. So I actually like the default of 16, I think that works pretty well for my audio but you might to play around with this and you might need to change this number depending on how loud or quiet your recording room is. So I'm now going to click on get noise profile so it's gotten the noise profile of that background noise. I'm now going to press Control A and that is going to select all of the audio. We want to select all of it so that we can remove the noise from it. So I'm now going to click on effect and we can click on repeat noise reduction or you can use the shortcut key of Control R and it's going to go through that audio and remove the noise. So now if I play through this, the noise in the background is much quieter. Now what I also want to do is add a normalize to the audio, and what the normalize is going to do is it's going to make where I'm talking be louder, but it's not going to make it too loud so that the audio peaks. So that will add more contrast between where I'm talking and then the background noise, and it will make it sound nicer. So if you've deselected the audio, just press Control A to make sure it's all selected. We're now going to click on Effect, and we're going to go down to Volume and Compression, and we're going to select the Normalize. And then just leave it at the default here, you just want to leave that at the default and click on Apply, and it's going to normalize the audio. So now where I'm talking it's louder, so it's easier to hear it, and there's more contrast between where I'm talking and just the quiet background noise. In this tutorial, I will show you how to sculpt with radial symmetry in Blender. So we now want to export our audio, so we'll click on File, and then we'll click on Export Audio. And then I just want to save this to my computer, so I'll choose Export to Computer. And then if I click here on the Format, I want to change this to a FLAC file, because a FLAC file is lossless, so it's not going to lose any of the audio data. And why I'm doing this is because I'm going to put the audio in Blender's video editor, so I can edit the video but you could also save this to another file format if you want to, but I'm going to use a FLAC file. And then you can also browse right here and choose a location to save the file. So I'm just going to have it saved to my desktop. And then I'll just click on export and we'll just let the audio export out. So that's how you can make your voice recording sound better in Audacity. So I hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching.